Hey y'all, this is how to transfer a picture to wood by Crystal Linhart. Materials that you will need is wood, Mod Posh, foam brush or paintbrush, damp rag, image printed on regular paper, and scissors. The wood I purchased at Hobby Lobby, you can actually get a coupon for 40% off from one item per day, every day. The Mod Posh that I used is Mod Posh with matte. You can actually purchase a Mod Posh photo. The photo will transfer the picture exactly. The Mod Posh that I use that's matte will still show the grain of the wood, which I like personally. Instructions. One, print the image. Remember to reverse any words so that they will be read correctly. Two, cut the picture to size that you want it on the wood. Three, place the place your image ink side up. Put on a generous amount of Mod Posh onto the picture and spread with a brush. Be sure to get the corners well. Four, lay the picture side down onto the surface, smooth down and remove any air bubbles. Five, set aside 24, 24 hours to dry. Six, place a damp cloth down into the back of the picture of the photo for several minutes and start rubbing away the paper. Seven, after removing the top layer of paper, let dry, then repeat. It is better to rub gently and repeat the wetting process <clears throat> excuse me, several times than to rub too hard and rub the image away. 8. Once you are satisfi satisfied with the picture, distress the picture of your, what you would like. 9. Add a coat of Mod Posh or two on the top to, and let dry. First, I would measure my picture to the wood, then cut the picture how I would like it to look on the wood. I have done collages. I've done where it looks like a puzzle on there with different different pictures. I always lay the picture on the wood to see what it looks like before I even start the next process. Then add generous amounts of Mod Posh onto the picture side up. Lay the picture side down on the wood. At this point, if it is crooked or not where exactly where you wanted to put it, you can pull off the picture and replace it. This is when you would use your damp rag, is if you get any Mod Podge on any of the wood that you don't want it to be. You can wipe it away. <clears throat> Start rubbing away the paper. You want to damp your paper and start rubbing in a circular motion. Let it dry for a little, then repeat. At this point, I start using my finger so I won't damage the picture. And always repeat, repeat, repeat. Dip my finger into water, 
and rub in circular motions. Let dry, and then if your pitcher is still cloudy, then that means that there's still paper on top. So just repeat with your dipping your finger in the water and rubbing in a circular motion. Once you're satisfied with the image, add your Mod Podge to the top. I go from one top corner and then go down and try to make it as smooth as possible. This is the end result of my project. The ones on the right I have previously done the same way. The one that looks like a palette was a little bit harder because I had to cut the image to where it didn't cut my son's head off between the cracks. But that one was really fun. All images are created and taken by Crystal and Hart. Just a little troubleshooting. If you get to the end of taking the layers of paper off and the picture is not exactly what you want, you will have to sand down, sand the picture off, and start from the beginning and repeat. There is no way to speed up the drying process without damaging the picture, like using a hair dryer or anything like that. It will damage the picture or wood. You cannot use a photo um, you have to use a printed picture on regular paper I want to thank you for listening and I hope you all have fun transferring pictures to wood have a great day